Strekoff 1075 is one of our all-time favourite producers and visiting his vineyards in the tiny village of Strekoff was really quite inspiring. He's based behind a supermarket where his winery is there and his cellar and his vineyards are located on the top of the hill where they benefit from a really nice breeze coming in from the valley. The biodynamic principles that Jolt applies to his work is also quite impressive. He's very much in tune with nature, there's animals everywhere, and the vineyards are absolutely teeming with life. It's a, really a real joy to walk through. Jod is very patient in the cellar. He only bottles according to the lunar cycle, there's no added sulfur, and he's very happy to let his wines wait for the right élevage to happen so he gets more complexity in his wines. Some of his most complex wines, such as Porter, are actually assemblages uh, with different vintages, different grapes, and different vineyards. Also his reds, for example his Francovra or his Fred or his Pinot Noir, really have this distinct earthiness going through them that I find is quite a telltale trait of uh, Schultz wines. Slovakia is not really at the forefront of the natural wine making movement, however Schult is really a pioneer in the region and a lot of producers from Eastern Europe look to him for guidance how to make their own wines. If you haven't tried them yet, I'd highly recommend it.